welcome to episode four of Sassy Science. Where science is sassy. We're your hosts, Ms. Hames and Mrs. Green. Today we have a joke for you. What web do spiders get in but they don't ever get out? Hmm, I love jokes. Hmm, I don't know. A food web. <laughs> ah! <laughs> a food web? What is a food web? Well, a food web is a series of food chains all woven together, and they represent the transfer of energy from one organism to the next. Sounds great. Today we're going to create one of those. So we've got a bunch of different organisms over here. We've got the sun. We've got some definitions, and we're going to put them together and create a food web. Where do you think we should start? Well... Let's talk about how a food web actually obtains its energy, the original source. Okay. Let's see. Where do you think? Where do you think the original source is? Well, I've always been taught that the original source of energy for all organisms is the great big yellow ball in the sky, the sun. All right. Maybe we can move this over and make it look like it. How about that? That looks All great. right. So we start with the sun. All the energy comes from the sun to begin with. Now, what makes its food from the sun? Hmm. So some organisms can actually make their food. Hmm. Using the sun. And I think that grass is a great example of an organism that can make its own food. There we go. So we've got some grass down here. This is a picture of grass. And we also have... You know, nuts come off of plants. Trees and bushes would be down here. Because using photosynthesis, they can make their own food. That's right. right. And since they produce their own food, they are called... Producers. Producers. Makes sense. They produce their own food using energy from the sun. Nice. Great. All right. What's next? All right. So what about organisms that use grass and nuts and seeds as their source of food. Hmm, all right. You mean they have to consume something else yes, to get their energy? a consumer. All right, let's see. What, let's see. Um, butterflies. I think butterflies eat Definitely. grass and, and frogs. And you know what else? A deer is kind of big. That's right. But it also eats grass, so... And so because they have to consume they are known plants as a or consumer. animals, they're consumers. All right, so we've got, we've got a few consumers here. Now there's something interesting about a deer as well. Um, it's a consumer, but it only eats plants. Isn't that right? I believe you are right. It eats things like herbs. Hmm, herbs are plants, right? Ah. Yeah, so what do we call that? A herbivore. Yay. We'll put that. Plant eater. Just eats plants. Very nice. <clears throat> All right. Does anything eat these guys? I bet so. I'm looking bet at right. those remaining animal examples. I see a fox, mm -hmm. a lizard, or an iguana. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and the rabbit might eat yeah. the butterfly. Oh, and you know what? I think, I think the bird... Um, oh, wait, no, I have the bird over here. Because the bird might eat the butterfly. Oh, that's because right. Because the, the bird doesn't eat this stuff. The bird eats this kind of stuff. I think that's, that's where I, I had it. Okay. So these guys, do they, they also eat other things to get their energy. So they are also consumers. True, okay. true. They're just another level in the food web. Right, right. All right. And then we've got some of these guys. Where should they go? Well, let's see. That looks like a fox of some sort, maybe. Um, actually, I think, let me see. Oh, it's a bobcat. A bobcat. Bobcat, okay. And that could definitely prey on, I think, the rabbit. Okay. Um, and then this is a mountain lion. Ooh, okay. And a coyote. And sometimes they're called top predators uh -huh. because nobody else, Nobody's messing with them yes. typically in the... There's no animals hunting them down. That's right. So we they're also consumers. Um, sometimes we can call them top predators. Yes. 
definitely um, an even higher level or different level of mm -hmm. the food web. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've got a definition over here. This is omnivore, eats plants and other animals or meat. Is there something on here? Omni, hmm. omni. Omni reminds me of the word, a prefix for everything or all. Yes. Good. So it eats everything, plants and meat, omnivores. Definitely. Um, are any of these examples you can think of that would eat plants and? Hmm. I think the coyote, maybe. Coyote, okay. From my knowledge. All right. Well, we'll put it up there. All right. Um, now, we've got a couple of guys left. This is a picture of a cartoon bacteria. That's what okay. this is. All right. And then we've got some worms. Where would they fit in? Gosh, well, in the in the food web, they're very important. Um, those guys, they feed on the dead or decaying remains of other organisms. Okay. And uh, they break down that material. They perform a process called decomposition. Okay, so maybe we can put them down here. They're down on the ground. Right. And, um, once all these things die, they come down here, and these guys break them down. Oh, look, here's the definition. They're decomposers. Decomposers. Feeds on and breaks down dead animal and plant matter. Very nice. All right, okay. so does it look like everything's in order? It does look really great. All right, now, when you have a food web, how do you link things together? Well, um, the most common example is uh, by using a series of arrows. All right, so let's get some arrows going. Which direction do the arrows go? Do they all go top to bottom, bottom to top? How do you know? I believe they're presented with the arrow going toward the organism that is gaining the energy. All is right. that right? Sounds right. So the energy, the arrow goes the direction that the energy is going. So let's start at the grass, okay? The grass is going to give energy, oops, okay, hold on, let me click the right thing. The grass is going to give, all right, let me find it. Grass shapes. There we the go. grass is going to give energy to the deer. So we're going to point <gasps> it towards the deer. Perfect. So the energy goes from the grass to the deer. Very nice. Um, it can also give energy to the butterfly mm -hmm. and to the frog and the Nuts and seeds can do the same thing. All right. Okay, so now we've got the producers giving energy to these guys. Um, who do these consumers give energy to? I guess whoever eats them. That's true. Right. So um, the bird might the bird might obtain energy from maybe the smaller insects like the butterfly. Okay. Butterfly and other insects, okay. Mm -hmm. um, maybe the frog might be eaten by the frog could the be the lizard. lizard's meal. Okay. Would a rabbit eat a the frog? Rabbit. I'm not sure, but I do know that the rabbit could feed on some of the nuts and seeds as well. Oh, okay. So that arrow may I'm extend all the way up to the rabbit. All the way up. And these guys <coughs> are not going to be eating a deer. But the deer does give energy. He gives energy to these guys. These ah, guys are going to hunt the deer. To the upper level of the food yes. web. Yes. So it's a web because it's not just one straight chain. It's all kind of combined right. together. So let's see. Over to here. Okay. That's looking really great. All right. Um, how about the lizard? Anybody eat the lizard? Uh, gosh. You know, I bet small. any of those top guys, if they were in the right situation. Hungry enough? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It could be their snack. And then I guess the rabbit maybe too. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that poor little rabbit. Yeah, rabbit stew. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the bird if he got injured or something, True. I guess. So in the wrong place. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Where do, where do we go next? All right. So we've got a really nice looking web there. We do. But then, what happens when these animals begin to break, these organisms begin to break down? All right, so when they break down and they die, then where does the energy go? The energy then becomes 
used by the decomposers that we've kind of left down there at the corner of the web. So we can come all the way from the top carnivores. Once they die, mm -hmm. then their energy goes to feed the decomposers. All right, so we've got a great looking web here, um, but we want you guys to benefit too. So at this point, it would be a great time to pause the video, grab your notebook, open up to your next available space. Remember, use space, don't waste, and create your own food web using our model of at least a half a page, maybe more. So go ahead and pause it right now. And now that you, hopefully now you've already drawn your food web in your notebook, we also want to make sure that you get these words. So go ahead and pause on these and write these words down because we will have a quiz. You need to know them. Here's the first one. Producers. Produce their own food using energy from the sun. Next word. Consumers. Consumers must eat plants or other animals as its food. Then we have decomposers. Feeds on and breaks down <laughs> dead animal and plant matter. Herbivore, these are our plant eaters. Carnivore, meat eater, or eats other animals. Omnivore, eats plants and other animals, so meat or plants. Then our last question, what is the original source of all the energy in the food web? Think about that and we'll talk about it in class. All right, that's it for episode four of Sassy Science. Where science is sassy. Have a great day.